my name is Sabrina and I'm 15 years old. I'm about to tell you how I fell into a coma for three days and heard everything that was going on around me. It all started when I was biking from home from a friend's house on a Saturday afternoon and saw a man following me. He looked a bit older than I was and was wearing all black with a hoodie, making him look even scarier. Every turn I made, he made too. I was getting really scared, so I decided to make a sharp turn onto the side road to try and lose him. When I did, my back tire slipped out and I went flying into a tree and hit my head. That's when my whole world went dark. Even though I couldn't feel my body or see anything or even move, I could still hear everything that was going on around me. I then heard a bike approaching me. I remembered that I was being chased and started to get really worried that it was the man in all black. <sighs> Even if it was, I couldn't do anything because I was stuck in darkness. To my relief, I heard the voice of an older woman calling over her husband. All I heard was, oh my god, and then everything went blank. The next thing I heard was the voice of the nurses finishing up plugging me into life support. I heard her moving the equipment around, testing to make sure everything was running correctly, and even heard her talking to herself about her boyfriend that was upsetting her. And then everything went blank again. This time when I came back, it was kind of different. Even though I still couldn't move or see anything, the words and sounds I was hearing were much clearer, and I could hear, like, every detail around the room. This is when I heard the door open and my parents' voices panicking and crying to the voice of the doctor saying that I'm probably not going to recover. I wanted to get up so badly, I tried my hardest to scream, move, even open my eyes, but nothing worked. I was all alone in my head and no one could hear me. I just wanted to shut down and cry, but I couldn't even do that. That night after my parents left to go home, I heard the doctor and I guess the nurse or assistant walk into my room together. I heard her say, Dr. Sanders, you look really hot today. And he's responded, I could say the same about you too, babe. And let me just say, you do not want to hear the rest of that conversation. Anyways, the next day, my parents came to visit me one more time and Dr. Sanders came in the room to check up on me. He also updated my parents on my current status. He kept saying that brain damage that I have won't ever allow me to be the same again, and that the best thing they could do for me is pull the plug on my life support. Wait, what? I wanted to scream! This evil doctor was treating me like a joke, and I wanted to just get up and punch him. My parents insisted that I stay on life support, and they would not allow them to pull the plug, and the following day was the most stressful but relieving day of my life. The morning of my third day in the coma, my parents came running in and begged Dr. Sanders to keep me on the life support. He kept saying that if we don't have insurance, they're not going to be able to keep me on life support past today. My parents kept assuring him that they could pay the amount due if he just gives them until the end of the day. Dr. Sanders said he won't be able to and proceeded to call security to hold my parents back. And as Dr. Sanders walked closer to the machine, I got more and more, like, stressed, and I started to panic on the inside. It was the end for me. Right when that machine turned off, I'd be gone. Forever. So I was so stressed out, and it was, I just tried so hard to move, that I finally broke free. Everything came back. I took a huge breath of air, <gasps> opened my eyes in complete fear, and was back to normal. The first thing I said was, I heard everything. It took a few weeks to get my strength back, but let's just say Dr. Sanders and his assistant weren't the only ones helping me recover. I just wanted to tell my tale and get it out there. Thanks for listening.